First order business. Look at the first term and the trinomial we're factoring. So what numbers multiply together to give me 4x squared? Okay, so 2x and 2x, 1 and 4. Yes, we will. Okay. Now, what about negative 4? What are two numbers that give me negative 2 and 2? What else? Negative four, 1 and 4, negative 4 and 1. So my final answer is going to be some combination of those five pairs of numbers. How are we doing with where those pairs of numbers came from? That's good to go? Yeah. All right. So now I start writing some parentheses down. So let's try out, um, let's do x minus 2 and 4x um, plus 2. Now that's using these guys. I'm trying out from this column, I'm trying out the negative 2 and positive 2. And then from this column, I'm trying out the, the 1x and the 4x. Now, I'll still do the first and last on this one just so we're clear that it works. If I take and multiply out the first terms, so I do that swoop, I'm going to get 4x squared. Wait, can you circle the ones that you plug in? Um, sure. I'm gonna be, we might be doing a lot of circling, though, but there's what I've tried so far. And if I do the last terms, the negative 2 times the 2, that's my negative 4. So that does work as far as my first and my lasts. The question's the inner and the outers. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't work. If I do the inners, I get negative 8x. The outers gives me 2x. They combine to 6x. Ack, that didn't work. Darn it. Yes. So let's try. Remember, because I added them together. Let's try another combination of numbers. And this is where you kind of start to look at what you've got and try to set yourself up for some success. Let's stay with the, the 1 and the 4. So let's do x and 4x. And then let's do, let's do 1s and 4s now and see if that works. So let's do minus 1 and plus 4. That might work. Now when I, when I do out the firsts and the lasts, I still get my 4x squared and my negative 4. So I'm not even going to test those. I'm just going to go straight ahead and test the inners, negative 4x, and the outers, 4x, I get 0. All right, well, that that didn't work. Shouldn't you do it without the negative and the plus and then just put it in when you're done? Mm -mm. No, because I have a negative number as my last term. So I have to have one of these two binomials has to have a negative in it. Yeah, I know. But Mrs. Brown, she like took the 4 and then just did the whole problem. Then when the you got the negative 4x and the 4, she just put those in where it would match to get the number. And it worked. OK. If that works there, then yeah, you can do that. But that's kind of more of an advanced technique. Yeah, it's more simpler. Kind of. More simpler. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to see how you did it so I can see for sure because I'm not quite following what you're saying. So let me, let's get through one of these. I can take a look at your work and see if we can use that. Yeah, we still have to keep trying though. For the second time around, can you see which ones you circle? Sure. Let's try this guy. Now let's, I'm going to keep staying with, I have a good feeling with this X and the 4X, so I'm going to stick with those. Let's see. Now, what else can I try? Let's do plus 4 over here and minus 1 over here. And we haven't done that yet. So let's see what happens. Oh, no, because this one has x minus 1. This has x plus 4. They're different. It works. It works? Yeah. All right. So 16x. These give me negative 1x for a total of uh, 
It doesn't work. 15x crud, it's positive. We still don't have it. Insert appropriate profanity here. Oh, really? Well, I said appropriate. There is no. I know. <laughs> the, the beauty of her, uh, yeah, anyway. We'll get it this time, though. Wait, which ones did you do for the second time? Uh, they're the um, the pairings I used for the first one, for the the second one, the one here in the middle. Yeah. That I paired x and 4x, and I paired negative 1 and 4. This one again I see with x and 4x, and again I did positive 4 and negative 1. Let's try one more, guys. I got we got to get it this time. But here's the nice thing. Since I got the wrong answer, but I'm really close. The difference is a matter of sign now. I'm just going to switch these signs over. So I'm just going to take this sign and this negative and swap them. And I bet that's going to work now. Wait, what are you, where are you writing? I'm writing right uh, here. So I can fit all on one page. So what did you change? I just changed the signs around a little bit. So I guess you could say that instead of doing negative 1 and positive 4, for this pairing, I'm doing negative 1 and positive 4. And again, x and 4x. I have a good vibe about that. So now I can go ahead, I multiply these, I get negative 16x. I multiply these, I get 1x. Combine them, negative 15x. That is what I wanted. Bingo. So you just switch them around. Did you really write? Where I really wrote bingo. For the third time around, can you circle the Yeah, um, the third time around is that down here in the blue. And in the blue it is, again, I did x times 4x paired with 4 times a negative 1. Where this, is the 4 times negative 1 up there? You have it's, negative 1 times 4, but you just flipped them. Right. I just so took you these guys them and switched them. The yeah, because so you're going to have to keep reordering them sometimes. You can do that? Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, you could almost go so far as to say that in your list of possible outcomes, uh, 4 times negative 1 is a possibility, and 1 times negative 4 is a possibility. So my final answer then, guys, when I'm all done with all of this writing, let me get a color that's going to pop out a little better than the ones we've got so far. Let's go back here to red. This right here represents the factors of the original trinomial. Now it's a lot of work to get there. All right. I'm there's a student here to see you. What have we got, guys? Yeah? In this one, it's going to be minus 15. Well, in the original one, it says minus 15. Yes. When you do the parentheses, it ends up being... Well, mm, look again. <laughs> negative 4 yeah. times 4 is negative 16. Yeah. X yeah. times 1 is 1X. Yeah. That adds together to a negative 15X. Where is that? Okay. 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 Don't you have an X plus 1 and 4X minus 1? No. The third try was X minus 4, 4X plus 1. Which is just a little different. And the reason it was just a little different is 15x is almost right. It's like right there, but it's not quite there. So that's why the only change I made was to change the signs up. 